Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Hello, I'm Lionel Bienvenu with the latest from Denver 7. The Denver Zoo reopened today after evacuating visitors yesterday. We brought it to you live here on the Now yesterday. Somebody called the zoo threatening to crash a plane into it. Denver police later said the threat was not credible and people were able to return to their cars. Now the zoo says it will offer refunds to everybody who had to leave the zoo after that threat. Denver police are still investigating that call. After almost 80 years in Denver, part of an historic park has been restored to its former glory. Cranmer Park's Flagstone Plaza was built back in the 1930s. It's known for its six-foot sundial and the panorama on the plaza depicting Colorado's mountains. Over time, weather and the sun took its toll, but a $2 million project restored the plaza and the sundial. Get ready to see more teacher marches this month. Colorado's largest teachers union is planning several days of action to push for support for Amendment 73. You'll see, uh, see it on the November ballot. It's a statewide tax increase supporting school funding. Friday is the first day you'll see some action. Teachers will be marching across the state urging voters to approve that amendment. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a look at your forecast. The cold air is moving in. Showers and thunderstorms will develop tonight. For Denver and the Front Range, the 80 degree weather is, uh, well, that's going to disappear and expect temperatures in the mid to upper 60s with showers on Thursday. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Lionel Bienvenu.